sorry, it's DJ. Hey. a short video clip wherein you will identify what element of music was being shown in the video. Are you ready? Let's go! Very good! That is melody. Melody is the tune of the musical composition. Next, please. Which is C, E, and G, and turn them into a stack. So we're not talking about melody anymore, really. We're talking about something else because they're not coming in a sequence in a series that goes on in time. They're all coming at the same time, stacked on top of each other. Let's just have a listen to what that sounds like. You'll hear that the notes of the chord, they don't sound separate like they were before when we were playing them as a melody. Actually what they do is they seem to fuse together to become one thing. Brilliant! That is harmony. Harmony is the sound of two or more notes heard simultaneously. Next please. Impressive! That is rhythm. Rhythm is the long or short sound. Next, please. softness of music. Forte is loud and piano is for soft. Next please. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong.
good job. That is texture. Texture is the layers of sound. How dense the music is. We have monophonic, homophonic, and polyphonic. Next, please. Very good. That is form. Form is the order and arrangement of the parts of the music. We have strophic, unitary, and binary. Nice try! That is meter. Meter is classified by number of beats per measure. We have double, triple, and quadruple. So, I think you are ready now for our topic in music as a grade 7 student. Are you a music lover? That's awesome! Do you have a favorite song? Great! So as, a, as your teacher, I have my favorite songs too. Uh, my favorite songs are pop songs, R&B songs. So now, we will have an activity wherein you will guess the title. You will listen to the tune and identify the title of it. Are you ready? Let's start! Great! The title of the song is Bahay Kubo. Next song, please. Impressive! The title of the song is Sit Sit Sit. sit. Next song, please. Gabing malami, wangis mo'y bituin sa langit. Fantastic! The title of the song is O Ilaw. Next song, please. Brilliant! The title of the song is Filipinas Kung Mahal. Last song, please. Good job. 
Love. The title of the song is Manang Pitay. Have you enjoyed listening the songs? That's great. Have you heard your grandparents singing these songs? What is the province of your family or relatives located? Wow! As for me and my family, our province is in Pangasinan. Let's proceed to our topic. The music of Lowlands of Luzon, which is composed of vocal and instrumental music. First, let's take a look the Luzon geographical location. We have the Ilocos, Pangasinan, Pampanga, Calabarzon, Mimaropa, and Bicol. Now, let's focus to the vocal music of Lowlands of Luzon. It is a type of music performed by one or more singers with or without instrumental accompaniment in which singing provides the main focus of the piece. It is a short piece of vocal music with lyrics is broadly termed as a song. We have four uh, subtopics to be discussed. Number one is the folk song, liturgy and devotional music, secular music, and the instrumental music. So let's focus to folk songs. What is folk song? Folk song are songs written by the folk and are sung to accompany daily activities such as farming, fishing, and putting the baby to sleep. Just like the Leron Leron Sinta. It is actually about picking a fruit which is the papaya or about the harvesting of fruits. It is also traditionally passed orally to the family and to the community. So your grandparents know these songs and they taught that to your parents and your parents taught that to you. In the Philippines, we have different dialects. Let us listen to the sample folk songs. The first is the Ilocano folk song entitled Pamuli Nawe. So it is an Ilocano folk song about an Ilocano woman named Pamuli Nawe to whom the man was singing. So let us listen to the song. What are the other songs that you know? Yes, we have Manang Bidai, Atin Ko Pong Sing Sing, Magtanim Ay Dibiro, Bahay Kubo, Larong Larong Sinta, Sip Sirit Sip, and Paru Parung Bukit. Next is Liturgy and Devotional Music. It is a religious music of lowlands of Luzon reveals the impact of Spanish colonization to the Philippines. Introduce of Christianity came the different western forms of music that are used for religious rites. Here is the example. Just the Salve or the Hail Mary the religious music.
other information, we have the Passion, Salubong, and Flores de Mayo are under the Liturgy and Devotional. Next is the Secular Music. It is a serenade traditionally sung by the man to express the affection to a woman. It was sung with emotion and usually accompanied by a guitar. Example, O Ilaw, that is Harana. Gabing malamig, wangis mo'y bituin sa langit. Another information, harana, kumintang, pandango, polka, balitaw, and kondiman are under the secular music. How did you find the tempo of the following songs that you've heard? Was it fast, slow, or moderate? Yes, some are slow and some are moderate. Which of the songs are accompanied by instruments? Yes, all of them accompanied by instruments. What musical instruments have you heard in the music's musical selections? Yes, usually it is a guitar. Do you want another activity? That's awesome! You will try to identify the object according to its sound and image. Are you ready? Let's start! Can you identify this? Correct! This is ukulele or ukulele. Are you familiar with this? Good job! This is a mini piano toy keyboard. How about this one? Nice try! This is a maracas. Can you identify this? Fantastic! This is looks like a lyre or xylophone. Let's try if you are familiar with this. This is a guitar. So what do you call to these objects? You're right. These are the musical instruments. Do you have musical instruments at home? Wow, that was awesome. Have you tried to play some musical instruments? That's great! 
What do you think are the importance of musical instruments to your life? Exactly. A musical instrument is used to make uh, musical sounds. It sustains and fits the brain to improve memory. It helps refocus bad energy into something positive and enjoyable. It reduces stress levels, lead to slowing down your heart rate and lowering your blood pressure. So let us proceed now to the instrumental music of Lowlands of Luzon. First is the brass band. The brass band is an ensemble of woodwind, brass, and percussion instruments in our country, Philippines. We usually played in fiestas, religious, and civic celebrations. The woodwind instruments are the following. Piccolo, clarinet, alto saxophone, tenor saxophone, flute, cartoon character you remember when you saw a clarinet very good I know that you are very familiar with clarinet because of Squidward next these are the brass winds trombone trumpet sosophone French horn and you phone you. familiar with those musical instruments? Good! So now, let's see if you are familiar with this kind of instruments. The Pangkat Kawayan Pangkat Kawayan, popularly known as the singing bamboos of the Philippines. It is an orchestra that plays music non-traditional bamboo instruments. We have angklang, bumbong, kalatok, 
talong gating, kalagong, pan pipes, tulali, and kiss kiss. It was so amazing to know that a bamboo can also be a musical instrument. Lastly, the classification of musical instruments. In the present time, music studies introduce the classification of musical instruments called the Hornbostel Sox System, in which Moritz von Hornbostel, the Austrian music scholar, and Kurt Sachs, the German organologist, devised system for classifi classifying musical instruments. Number one, idiophones. The idiophones produce sound by the vibrating or the vibration of its body caused by the way they are played such as a uh, being stuck, scrap, rub, shaken, or pluck. Example is the xylophone. Next, number two is the aerophone. Aerophone produce sound primarily by causing a body of air to vibrate because of the air blown inside. Example is saxophone. The third is chordophone. Chordophone produce sound through the vibrating string or strings that is either plucked, strum, or used with a bow. Example is violin. The fourth is membranophone. Membranophone produce sound primarily by the way of vibrating stretch membrane by the hands or sticks. Example is snare drum. And the last is electrophone. Electrophone produce sounds which are generated by electricity. Example is keyboard. Let's have an activity called spin the wheel. You can see that the wheel have different musical instruments. It will spin and when it stops, you have to identify the, the classification of it. Are you ready? Let's start! Spin the wheel! What musical instrument is that? Correct. That is flute. And what classification of musical instrument does it belong? Very good. Aerophone. Next, spin the wheel. What musical instrument is that? Correct. Maracas. And what classification of musical instrument does it belong? Very good. Idiophone. Next, spin the wheel. What musical instrument is that? Correct. It's tambourine. And what classification of musical instrument does it belong? Very good. It's membranophone. Next, spin the wheel. What musical instrument is that? Correct. It's electric guitar. And what classification of musical instrument does it belong? Very good. It's electrophone. Next, spin the wheel. What musical instrument is that? 
Correct. It's ukulele. And what classification of musical instrument does it belong? Very good. It's chordophone. For your performance task, you will create an improvised musical instrument. I call it DIY Spinning Drum. Here are the following materials. You can use any available materials at your home. Are you ready? Let's start! To achieve a higher score, here are our rubrics for your performance output. These are the following procedures. Number one, make two holes wherein you will insert the stick wood. Number two, put some glue on the two holes to make it sure that the wood will stick to the tape roll. Number three, Make another two holes wherein you will insert the yarn or thread with bits at the end of it. Number 4, using illustration board or any board at home, trace the size of the circle of the tape roll, then paste it at the both sides of it. Number 5, you can now put some ribbon or colored paper as it looks attractive. And number six, you can now enjoy playing an improvised musical instrument, your DIY spinning drum. Don't forget to take a photo of your output, then send it to your mapping teacher. Have you enjoyed our lesson for this week? Very good! Do you understand about the vocal and instrumental music of Lowlands of Luzon? Fantastic! So let's have another activity for yourselves. Thumbs up! If you are agree to the statement and thumbs down. If you disagree. Are you ready? Let's start! Number one. I'm happy with my new learnings about vocal and instrumental music of Lowlands of Luzon. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Next, number two. I enjoy singing with my virtual teacher and my classmates. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Number three. I am willing to learn how to play 
some musical instruments at home. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Number four, playing musical instruments can reduce my stress that we experience at home this amid of pandemic. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And lastly, number five, I am excited to learn more about this subject. Thumbs up or thumbs down. For your written output, these are the following activities. Use a one-half lengthwise paper and don't forget the following. Your name, grade and section, subject, subject teacher, quarter one, and the week number. For your activity number one, you have to identify the place where the song is being sung in the Philippine map. You have to write the title on your paper and then the location or the origin place of the song or where the place you often hear the music. If it is in Ilocos, Pampanga, NCR, Bulacan, or Bicol region. For your activity number two, Listen attentively and observe the elements of the music of each song. Analyze the elements of music and fill in the table cells. How did you find the tempo? Was it fast, slow, or moderate? What is the meter of each song? Is it double, triple, or quadruple? What can you say about the timbre of the song? Is it head voice, chest voice, or nasal voice? How about the texture? Is it monophonic, homophonic, or polyphonic? In musical accompaniment, list down the instruments heard in the music. For the song number one, Dungawin Mo Hirang. Song number two, Mutian ng Pasig. For the third song, Pandango. song magtanim ay dibiro fifth song sa debis ng nayon For the last song, Pilipinas Kong Mahal. Ang bayan ko'y tanging ikaw, Pilipinas Kong Mahal, Ang puso ko at buhay mahal. Thank you.
For the activity number 3, group the different instruments mentioned. According to Hornbostel Sachs classification of musical instruments, you have to write the instruments to their proper column. Thank you for watching and listening. Have a great week, grade 7. And stay safe. Bye-bye.